Welcome back. I'm really excited because I have another three looks for five bucks today and I love this series. I'll link the other videos down below in case you've missed any of them. But today I am using the Wet n Wild Poster Child palette. Really bright, really fun. Two of the looks are a lot more wearable so don't be afraid if this isn't your thing. And if you want to see my favorite ways to use this palette, just keep watching. Oh, and don't forget at the end of the video to scroll down to the comments and let me know which look is your favorite. Like I usually do in these videos, the first look is going to be the easiest and the simplest look, so let's get started. We're not going to have much shadow across the lid, but I want to put a little something down just as a base. I'm going to start by putting this brow bone color kind of all over. It's very light, and then throwing a little bit of eyelid in the crease. And now we're starting the liner. This is going to be kind of like a double winged liner. I'm going to use the darkest blue definer shade first and the brush that I just threw on the floor. I'm going to use this darkest blue definer shade first and an angled liner brush. And I'm going to get the brush damp so that it has a little bit more impact when I apply the shadow. First I'm going to put this all across the lash line and then I'll start working on the wing. If you are new to wing liner and aren't totally confident in your skills, using eyeshadow is a really good way to start. It's much more forgiving. So wipe off your brush and then to make it just a little bit more interesting, we're going to go right over the top of that with this teal color, the eyelid color over here for something a little bit different. And then you can always go back in with the dark blue again to kind of clean it up if you need to. I'm going to hop off camera to add mascara, finish out the look, and I'll be right back. I wanted to keep the lips a little bit pink but pretty sheer for this, so I used a little bit of this CoverGirl lip gloss in Whipped Berry, and here's the final look. Let's see what's next. Okay, so it's time for the second look, and let me just say that if you see residues of blue eyeshadow on my face, please forgive me. We're just going to pretend like it's not there. For this look, we're going to use the pinks and the yellow, but I'm going to start the same way. I'm going to put this brow bone color all over the eye and then throw the slightly darker eyelid shade in the crease. Now I want to take the darker pink, which is the crease shade here, and I want this on the outer half of the eyelid and the outer part of the crease. I'm going to start with that same blending brush, and then I'll probably switch to my Real Techniques base shadow brush to put that right on the eyelid. This color is not overly pigmented, which actually makes it a lot easier to use, but I do take my time building it up. I'm now going to flip the brush over and go into the yellow. This is going to be the center half of the eye, kind of blending into the pink, and I'm also going to take that around the inner corner as well. Again, I like that this color is a little bit sheer. It's not just yellow, which I think would be harder to pull off. You know what I mean? And now I'm gonna use the same colors on the lower lash line. I'm gonna start with the eyelid shade kind of all over, and then I'll put the darker pink on the outer half and the yellow on the inner half. I'm not going to add any liner or anything, I just want to keep it fresh and bright and springy. I'm going to pick out a lip color and then I'll be right back to show you the final look. So here's the final look. I wanted something kind of fresh and springy on the lips, so I went for the Too Faced Melted Liquify Longwear Lipstick in Melted Peony. Uh, by the way, does anyone else find it really creepy the way this comes out? It like, like oozes out of the little holes. 
kind of creeps me out. Anyway, here's the final look. I like this one. I think it's just fresh and springy and another really easy way to wear some bright colors. Let's see the final look. This final look is going to be the most dramatic and I'm going to start by putting down a couple pieces of tape so we can have that nice winged cat eye shape. I know I've said this before, but make sure that you take the tape and stick it to the back of your hand first to get that first layer of sticky off so you don't rip your face off when you try to take it off in a little bit. And line it up with your lower lash line and then just kind of wing it out however you want. And then I spend five minutes trying to get them even and somehow still they don't match. This is normal for me not for normal people, which would be the definition of normal. Okay, so just like the other looks, I'm gonna put this brow bone shade kind of all over and then a little bit of this eyelid color in the crease just to get things started and make everything else easier to blend. Honestly, I don't know if this does much, but it makes me feel better. Just gotta be worth something, right? This isn't right, this isn't even. You guys, you can't let me do this. Okay, so this look is going to be more about the blues and the greens. So for the crease, I'm going to go in with this middle blue shade, the crease shade right here. Okay, so the darkest color we're going to use on the outer part is going to be the dark blue. I'm going to start applying that with the Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush. And this is the shade that you can really let just come right against the tape. This look reminds me of the look I did for the Alice Through the Looking Glass palette. Not the five looks series I did, but the first impressions, demo, swatch video. It's kind of a similar type of deal. And then the middle color is going to be the one shade lighter that we used in the crease. And for the center of the lid, I'm going to use the eyelid color over here, this nice turquoisey green. These are pretty powdery, so make sure you're tapping them off. Honestly, these blues are easier to work with than the blues in the Urban Decay palette. Just saying. And I'm gonna pop the brow bone yellow color right on the inner corner. Okay, so now that that's all down, I'm just gonna kind of keep working with it until I like the result. I'm gonna go back into the blue and the green and just kind of keep blending. You get it. You guys know. I'm gonna add a little bit of black liner. Okay, and I'm taking the tape off to kind of touch everything up and see how it looks. Definitely get some fallout with this one. Now there are a lot of different ways you could use the lower lash line. You could kind of mirror the colors from the top and do that on the bottom. I think that's a really nice look. Because I haven't used the black shade from this palette yet, I'm gonna use it on the bottom. And really it's more of a gray, kind of like a charcoal-y gray, which I think makes it look really nice and smoky. So I'm gonna put that on the lower lash line and I'm gonna use my Real Techniques, I don't know what this is called, like a crease brush or something. It's this little pointed one. This gives just a nice smoky look. Since this is a more dramatic look, I'm going to tightline with my It Cosmetics, what are these called? No Tug Waterproof Gel Eyeliners.
All right, I'm gonna pick out a lip color and I'll be right back to show you the final look. So here's the final look. I went in with the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Caramello. I love this lipstick. I like it with bright or dramatic looks. Please don't forget to scroll down to the comments and let me know which of these looks was your favorite and let me know how else you like to use this palette. And let me know what you wanna see next for the next three looks. Thanks for stopping by today. Remember to hop on over to Instagram and Twitter and follow me at Robin's Cup and hit that subscribe button so I can see you guys here next time. Bye. You guys, I just realized I still had the price tag on my shirt during this whole video. That's awkward. Different than the other highlighters in my collection because it has a white base with like a golden shimmer running throughout it. It is just so pretty. I've worn it a couple times already and I already love it and want to try it.